Pretty here and today I'm back with another video and I'm actually really excited for today's video because I never did anything like this on my channel and it's very different and something that doesn't really relate to beauty at all which my channel is all about but since I am in love with this show I decided that I wanted to rank the characters on a tier list so if you guys haven't been seeing this trend I guess that's been going on on YouTube a lot of people have been ranking different stuff it could be food it can be music it could be tv shows it could be i seen disney stuff like there's just a whole bunch of stuff that people are rating so i decided that i'm going to be rating the bridgerton tv series that just came out um i finished this series in one night it, it's only eight episodes but there's like a, they're like an hour each so eight hours of me watching it and i fell in love with the cast um, I love the concept and I can't wait until season 2, but I just want to start ranking these characters, so let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so you guys can see my screen. I'm pretty sure I'm recording right now. If I'm not, that would be horrible because then I'm going to have to record this all over. So, um, I have five sections. The first one at the top is fucking iconic. That means you're basically iconic. I love you. You're an amazing character. You're one of my favorite characters and... You deserve to be at the top. Next is the orange one. I'm in love with you. Like, I really, really like you. I love your character. I love your everything about you, but you're not iconic. You know what I mean? Like, you're not as important or you're not as, like, special as, like, the iconic characters in that row. So then the next one, the yellow one, like, the darker yellow one is I like you, I guess. Like, you're all right. Like, you're memorable and you you did a good job at your role but like i'm not crazy about you um next is eh, i don't really remember you that means like you probably had a few lines or you were there for a lot of the episodes but i didn't really care so much about what was going on with you and then at the bottom is why are you even in this show that means i hated your character i'm not saying like they shouldn't be in the in the show like actually because all these characters are needed in order for like the plot and everything to flow i'm just saying that like I hate you so much that like I don't want you to be here like you kind of just like are just fucked up in a way like you're really just a bad character I don't like you overall but I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people in that row so let's just get straight into this so the first one let me pull up their names because I don't remember all their names you guys are gonna be like oh my god you're a fake but like I do remember most of them so this is the brother, I remember, this is the brother that helps out Daphne find um, a man or whatever, but I forgot his name. I think his name is supposed to be Anthony. Okay, so Anthony is the first character. Um, I don't know where to put him because in the beginning, he was like really annoying to me, but toward, actually no, I'm going to put, I like you, I guess. Like, he wasn't really anything special, like he was... I like how he, I don't know, he cared about his sister and he was looking out for her and making sure that she found a suitable man. But then again, he was forcing her to marry that other guy. What the fuck is his name? Oh, like Lord somebody. Like she was, like he was making her, he was trying to make her marry him and like, you don't do that as a brother. That's not right. So I'm going to put him in I like you, I guess. Like he was cool or whatever, like nothing crazy next we have the the other brother and the other brother i believe is colin bridgerton colin bridgerton he's uh i think he's the younger brother um i like you i guess like i like his character like especially when he was talking to marina i believe her name is um when he was talking to marina at the end about how like oh if you just told me the truth then I would have just, I would have been there for you. I would have helped you out, but you lied to me. So I respect him as a character. He's very loving and he knows what he wants. And I feel like a lot of people don't give him credit for that. Like I actually do like his character, but like I'm not like in love with you. So you could stay and I like you, I guess. Next we have this bitch, this fucking bitch. I don't know her name, but this girl right here, she is just rude for no freaking reason. So obviously I remember her I remember her but like 
she just aggravated me like everything she said everything she did like her whole character was just being a bitch and i understand you need characters like that in certain tv shows but you were just like oh my god just shut the fuck up like stop being so jealous of everybody especially daphne like she always was on daphne's ass for no fucking reason like oh my gosh she was just so freaking annoying then we have the queen herself daphne i love daphne i love her character um, so I'm gonna put her on fucking iconic. Say too much because it's Daphne. She is the main character. I love Daphne. I love um, her personality. I love how innocent she is and just like, I don't know, like something about her. Like she was just such a cute character from the beginning and like till the end I still like her. Like she never did anything in the show where I was like, oh my god, she did not just do that right now. Like I don't think there was anything that really bothered me about her. So I'm gonna keep her there. So Daphne's sister, um, Eloise, I think her name was, Eloise, um, I think I'm gonna put her in, oh my god, I don't know, I think I'm gonna put her in, I, I'm gonna put her in, and I like you, I like you, I guess, like, again, I wasn't, like, in love with her character, she was cool, I like how independent she was, and I like how she was like, oh, I don't need no man, like, I'm gonna find out who Lady Whistleson is, um, but, I don't know, overall, like, I didn't really gravitate to her character as I did compared to other people, so I'm gonna put her in the middle, like, she was neutral for me, she was, she was good. Now we have these ladies, which I don't know their names, I know these are Penelope's, um, sisters, I believe, but she like they i'm gonna put her in and i don't remember you because i'm gonna be honest i really don't remember them like all i re really remember about them is actually i don't remember much about them like i just know they always wore bright color ugly ass dresses i mean penelope did too but penelope was cute though i like penelope but her sisters um i don't know Oh, they did faint. I remember that. One of them did faint in the beginning. So, I guess that was funny, but eh, I don't really remember you. You're, like, whatever, like... Okay, now we have, um... Who is this? Oh, Marina. Now we have Marina. I really like Marina. Um, I don't know if she's iconic. So, I'm gonna put her, I'm in love with you. Because I really do like Marina. Like, I like... Actually, no. Actually, no, because what she did was kind of fucked up, so I don't even know if I really like her. Uh, oh my god, this is hard. This is hard, guys. This is really hard. I'm going to put her in I Like You, I guess. Because I was originally going to say I, I'm in love with you, but the only reason I'm not completely in love with her, because I just remember what the fuck she did, she basically was going to lie to Colin... I think that's what's the name. She was basically gonna lie to Colin saying like, oh yeah, this is your baby. Just so like she can have st stability, I guess. Or like, so she could just have someone and not raise this baby by herself or whatever. But that's really fucked up. Like she could have literally did what Colin said at the end, towards like the end of the series. Like, oh, you could have just told me, you should have came to me um, and we could have worked it out and I would have been there. You know what I mean? So like, the re so since she did that now i'm like um i don't know if i'm in love with you so no next we have um this is um daphne's mom so i'm gonna put her in i'm in love with you because i really really like the mom i love her character and i love how like she sticks up to that she sticks up for daphne like originally when the brother was being a little bit too much and like in the beginning of the series when he was like just shooing off all these guys and like forcing her to be with people that she doesn't want to be with like i originally thought that the mother was gonna side with the brother for some reason like i don't know why i thought that but i thought she was but when she completely like didn't do that and she did the complete opposite and she was there for daphne and she was making sure that she was not gonna marry that that old ass guy I'm glad that she did that and I'm glad that she's there for her daughter and the only thing the only reason I'm not putting her in iconic is because I feel like the thing that she was missing is I feel like she should have been more open about certain things with Daphne like towards the end like Daphne didn't really know anything about sex or how it worked and I feel like that's really important for your mother to teach you you know what I mean and I know it's like 
like back then and like stuff like that wasn't really that open so I understand why she didn't full blown out tell her everything but still that's your daughter at the end of the day so I feel like she should have you know she should have said something so I'm gonna put her in I'm, a, I'm in love with you because I like her now now we have Lady Dan what's her name Lady Dan Danbury something like that I think that's how you say her name Lady Danbury, I could be completely wrong. I butcher names all the time. But I love this woman. I love her. She is iconic. She's literally so iconic. And I love how she helped Simon get back on track. And I like how she was teaching Simon from a young age. Like, he, she was basically like a mother figure to him because the dad was complete shit. And he wasn't there for... Um, he wasn't there for his son, so she basically raised him, and I give props to her for that, because she didn't have to do that, and she did that, she raised him to be the man he, he is today, and she still is playing a big role on his, like, thing, his choices, I mean, like, he, like, she, like, um, influences him to go down the right path and make the right decisions like he was so anti-marriage and he didn't want to do this and that because of his father's legacy and stuff but she was like no like you can't be stuck on that like the whole time like you can't can't you can't just not get married because you don't want to continue the legacy of you know his family and stuff like that and I'm glad that she like put that in, in his head and she was like, listen, like you, when you find someone like that, you can't let them go. And it's true. When you do, you can't. And so I give her props for doing that. So that's why she's in fucking iconic. And her outfits too, one of the best on the shows. So I'm going to put her up there. Now we have this lady. You guys are going to be like, oh my God, did you even watch the show? Yes, I did. But there's so, I'm so bad with name guys. It's just like, I don't know. So, this lady right here, I remember her. That's Penelope's mother, I believe. I mean, I would assume. But, I don't know. She, she I, eh. I do remember her, but not like that. So, I'm going to put her there. Because, like, I guess she didn't really do anything for me. Like, like the things that I do remember about her are negative. So, I'm going to put her there. Like, I'm not going to put her on like you. Because, like, she didn't really do anything for me. So, I think she deserves to be there. So next we have this ill. I think his name is Lord something with the F. That guy. He's disgusting. And he is so pushy. That's why I'm going to say, why are you even in the show? She, he's definitely worse than her. So I want to put her over here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm, I'm just now putting it in this order. But I wait, did I... Who is this? Guys, do you see this? Like, who is this? Isn't this the same person, her and her? Or am I crazy? Like, who is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh my god, guys. I don't know. I can't tell. It literally looks just like her. So maybe they put two by accident, but I don't know. That looks like her. I don't I don't remember them there being another black girl on the show that was like the main character. I don't know. But back to him. He's disgusting. He basically was very, he put a lot of force on Daphne and he was very like, like, you're gonna be my wife, you're gonna be my wife. Like, he couldn't take no as an answer and that pissed me off. And like, he's old as fuck. Like, I remember like the line in the beginning when he was like, oh, I remember when I was a young lad or something like that and you were just like a baby or something. So basically that just tells you how much older he is compared to her and that's disgusting to me and he was just doing too fucking much even after he got beaten up by simon he still was like no you're gonna marry me so i was just annoyed by that so he's gonna be in why are you even in the show now i thought this was marina if there are there two marinas i can't tell guys let me know in the comments if it's marina if there's just two marinas and i'm just like blind so i'm gonna keep her and i like you i guess because like it's the same person so now we have penelope i love penelope i'm gonna put her in i'm in love with you because she's not iconic like she's not on the same level as daphne and the lady but she is still just as good because i just love again she's so like innocent she's so like 
oh like i don't want to be like every she doesn't want to be like her family like her sisters and her mother like she wants to like she wants to be her own person and like you could tell by the way she talks about her family and just her actions in the whole series as a whole and i really like her for that and i like she's a really good friend too i feel like she is pretty much a really good friend and even though i wish she did from the beginning just go up to colin and be like listen i have feelings for you this is how it is and then maybe marina would have been able to understand because i know she was angry and upset because like colleen was like was like with marina and like obviously penelope had a crush on colin and it was just like all over the place and i really wish she told him from the get-go like at the party when she was wearing like that pink dress like she looks so pretty in that scene i wish she like just from the beginning was like listen i have feelings for you this is what it is and this is how i feel about you so i'm gonna put her and i'm in love with you because i do love her character but she's not iconic next we have the prince okay i love how persistent he is he sees something he, he has to go get it but it's just i like you i guess there's a lot of people and i like you i guess like he was a very nice guy and he was understanding like he literally could have went off on daphne because she, because like she just like left him she was like yeah no i can't get married to you i'm in love with simon like she could have he could have went off on her, but he decided not to. He was like, okay, I'm just going to leave mother. Like, there's no, no, that's not her mother. That's it. um, his, his aunt or whatever. Um, To, like, um, the Queen Charlotte, he was like, oh, I'm just going to leave. Like, there's no point in me being here. Like, he was very understanding of the whole situation. And I appreciate him for that. So I'm going to put him on like you. Like, I didn't connect with his character compared to, like, Daphne and, not Daphne, compared to Daphne's mother and Penelope. So I'm just going to put him in the middle tier now we have anthony's boo thing but i don't remember her name i think it's sienna rosso i think that's her name i could be completely wrong but whatever her name is i know that's anthony's like boo thing or whatever and i really like her so i really do like her like she was another female i really liked in this show so i'm gonna put her oh no not here i'm gonna put her and i'm in love with her because i like how she she stood for herself she knew that anthony wasn't good for her and she knew that he wasn't going to be able to support her i mean he could support her financially but he wasn't there you know like it was like he was kind of embarrassed in a way and i feel like like you can't be with a man like that a man that's not emotionally available and not mentally ready like he he was too confusing like in the beginning he wanted her then he didn't want her then he wanted her again like you can't go about your life with someone like that so i appreciate her like just being like no like i need to be independent i need to be alone i need to do my own thing i think if i'm not mistaken i don't think they got back together at the end i think she did actually leave town if i'm not mistaken i think she left town yeah she did leave town because she was like i'm not putting up this bullshit anymore so oh my god i appreciate her for doing that and i'm so happy for her i'm so glad that she did that oh my god love her now simon i love simon i am in love with him i would marry this man i love him he's a great character i guess and of course he's handsome he's fine as fuck but he would be iconic if he wasn't so problematic the thing is with simon is i love his character and i understand where he was coming from when he's saying like oh like my father like he, like i just can't get married to someone and continue the the legacy of the family or whatever it's called and i can't do that because my father like you know he's a fucking piece of shit and all this stuff and okay i understand but like lying about the whole you're not able to get Daphne's pregnant that was a bit too much and especially I feel like he did that because he knew that she wasn't like actually no because I think he did know actually no no she probably assumed that since Daphne isn't really educated about this stuff that he can like probably get away with like not it's not like it's not like he couldn't have kids he just didn't want to so that's what was the fucked up part like he should have been very honest with Daphne because Daphne has always been honest with him and has always been there for him like she could have left him a long time ago but she continued to stay and be there for him and 
I just feel like if he wasn't if he wasn't a liar and he wasn't so like I feel like a lot of time he's not considerate of other people's feelings and he's only cares about himself and I feel like that's the only thing that he, his character lacks is like he doesn't have sympathy for nobody else and I don't know I feel like you could have been iconic but you're not fucking iconic so you're gonna stay there then we have Queen Charlotte. I love Queen Charlotte. I love her character. Every nothing like phases her. Like nothing interests her. And I just love her overall. Like she just sits there and she's so pretty. I love it. I love Queen Charlotte. She's a great character. I really do enjoy watching her and her hair throughout the season. Girl, her hair is crazy and I love it. I love all the different hairstyles. I love how diverse the cast is because like during this time, um, obviously there wasn't a lot of diversity. Yeah, this, I think this show takes place in the 1800s and obviously slavery is still a thing, but they completely removed that from um, this TV show and they included so many um, people of color and I really appreciate that because you usually don't see that in um, this certain genre. Not even genre, but this certain, because this is like a romance, technically this is a romance TV show, but in the style of show, you know what I mean? So I really appreciate that they did that for us because I love seeing people that look like me and in this type of stuff because I love this type of style. I love this era of clothing, so it just really interests me and like overall the show, amazing, 10 out of 10. I really recommend if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Well guys, that is it for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. If you want to see more tier videos like this, it doesn't even have to be TV shows. It could just be like about fashion stuff and makeup. Just let me know down in the comments below because I really enjoyed filming this. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.